What's up guys? Classy Metal here. Got an unboxing video again today. I hope you're not tired of seeing my fat ugly head. I have a 30 CD grab bag from Horror Pain Gore Death Productions. I just got this in. The mail person dropped it off maybe 10 minutes ago. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and knock this video out today. Also got some other stuff in today as well, but we will save those for another time. 30 CDs, 30 bucks. I think the shipping was probably somewhere, shipping tax, all that stuff, it probably bumped it up to about $42 total. Uh, I'm not exactly completely 100% sure on the price. Somewhere around at that point, but 30 CDs for 30 bucks before shipping, you're not gonna get a better deal than that anywhere. Hopefully I don't already own all this stuff. Uh, it's a good six pounds of metal in this box. So I looked at the shipping label and it was exactly six pounds. So hopefully we get a lot of stuff that I don't already own with a grab bag this big and I have done several HP GD uh, orders and grab bags in the past. So there is a good chance that I'm gonna hit some stuff that I do already own, but we can hope that I do not. So We've got some stickers. I am still trying to fill my big cabinet. I have a big cabinet on the other side of the room that I've been trying to fill. And there's several of these little stickers that will help in that endeavor. Enough with the stickers. As you can see, it is jam packed full. They've got this box and right off the bat, I already see an album. I see a couple that I already own. I'm just gonna start on that end. Like I said, I have done some of these in the past, so there is a good chance, especially when you do grab bags as big as 30 CDs that you're gonna hit some uh, some duplicates and that type of stuff, stuff that's already in the collection. Uh, we have The Great Architect of Nothing by Oshiego, I believe is how you pronounce that. Decent death metal band here. Uh, like I said, I do already own this one, but pretty good stuff. I actually, I know that I've had this next one in the past. I don't know if I still own it or not. I may have uh, rehomed it already. Uh, this is a Wolves Attack with a Piss on Everything. So this is looking pretty similar to uh, the grab bag that they had done previously. I would say it's probably been at least a year, maybe two years ago that I did one of these. And this is starting off looking pretty, pretty identical. Uh, we have Vomitol with Igniting Chaos. I do own some Vomitol, so this may, I can't remember if this is the exact album I own or not, but hopefully not. I don't think I'll have trouble rehoming some of this stuff if, if I, it happens to be duplicates. Uh, this is a new one to me. This is Galerna with uh, The Abyss. I am not familiar with this project. This box of stuff was so big that I just went ahead and pulled another table. If you're wondering why the angle angle and stuff looks a little different in this one, I figured it would make life a little easier for me this way. Uh, this is one that I do own, but I do enjoy this album. Uh, this is at, 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 at Radagast's Gates with, uh, it's got a huge long album title name, Reflection of a Lunar Eclipse in the Stained Mirror of Time. Pretty good stuff on this one. I got this, I think, in one of my very, very first uh, HP GD grab bags. I think it was like a five CD grab bag or four CD. And uh, this was probably one of the highlights that I got when I did that before. Uh, next up, we have Toxicology with Triple Cripple. Toxic, uh, actually, it looks like a uh, four-way split. It looks like a Toxicology, Scuzz, Triple Cripple, and Ground. So I think we've got a little four-way split going there. That one I think is uh came out of 2017. I thought it might be a little bit newer than that. It seemed uh, a little bit fresher on my memory than. Next up we have a Serpent Crown, and I believe this one is self-titled, and it is. This one has been out for a while. I think this one came out in 2013. So they really dug deep in the archives for this grab bag, uh, grab box. Keep wanting to say I guess it is a grab bag. Technically, it's a grab box. But. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm actually, this is a I am the tri, trireme, I believe uh, is how you pronounce that. With a gnosis, never follow the light. 
very solid band here. I'm pretty stoked to get this album in this in this grab bag. This came out in 2015. This is another one that's been out for a while. Uh, so, really solid band there, so I'm stoked to have that one. That's probably been the highlight so far from this little stack. This one, the uh, the booklet kind of. Oh, nice. We got some percussor. Um, I did a uh, percussor. I, I highlighted them in a Seven Deadly Spins video sometime in a little not too long ago. Uh, this is Proclamation of Hate, so this is a different release. So stoked to have that one. They did good with that release. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Uh, next up, we have uh, Human Compost from the Grave They Crawl. And that is some gnarly looking artwork. Hopefully the audio is not too messed up on this with me sitting so far back from the camera. I actually did not think about that until now, so... Sacrificial Slaughter, nice, with a, uh, I guess it is a uh, split between Sacrificial Slaughter and Infuneration. So we got some sick death metal going on this one. That's one thing I will say about the uh, HB, HPGD roster. Man, when they uh, release some death metal, it's usually some pretty sick stuff. So feels like we've been talking forever and I still got a huge stack to go. I'm glad we, it seems like we got the majority of the duplicates out of the way early. Um, we have pentothyl sodium with a point of pile of bones. I am not familiar with that one at all. That's one good thing about these grab bags is I find stuff that's new, that's new to me. It uh, doesn't happen just a whole, whole lot anymore, but uh, it does happen. Uh, next up is one that I do already own. I ordered this one from actually the same person that I did the previous video on, the uh, the eBay seller, uh, Jagger Jones. This is a an album that I purchased from him previously. It is a pretty good album, though. This is a pass on with Bedlam. Now we have an album from Triple Cripple. They were featured on that split earlier. Uh, this is Nursing Home for Retired Hookers. Must be uh, after some silver foxes there. <laughs> Next up, uh, we have On Top with uh, Top to Bottom. And there is, uh, yeah, I'm going to let you look at that artwork. Hold that one up for a little bit of extended time there. This kind of looks like some sleazy uh, traditional stuff. Maybe uh, heavy metal, hard rock type stuff. Definitely has that sleazy vibe going on. I'll let you look at that one more time. Nice picture there. Next up we have uh, Elbow elbow Deep with uh, Sexually Offensive. I think uh, Luke, um, death metal fan, is, had been an advocate for this album. He kept on telling me to to get this, and now I finally got it. So maybe that'll get him off of my back. But uh, he he is a huge advocate of this. I have listened to some of it. It was some pretty good slammy uh, type death metal, from what I remember. Next up, we have uh, Generate Christ with taste. Generate Christ with a. Uh, taste of death and that looks pretty not sure what's going on there uh that looks that looks pretty wild i have no idea what to expect on this one all in all i'm pretty impressed with this i mean the, especially with the price point that this came in at uh next up we have mountain grave with massive structural collapse There's been quite a bit of stuff in here that uh, is new to me as well. So that's always fun for me to find some new stuff and uh, some stuff that I may end up really digging. Next up, we have a uh, Plague Welder with uh, Chambers of Death. For a second, I thought it said Plague Wilder. It is not Plague Wilder, it is Plague Welder. So, that, I mean, uh, plagues and uh breaking out the uh the flux the flux welder so. <laughs> this 
this is actually one that uh an album that i did own at one point and i sent this to uh sean count blagreth in a care package this is uh man some some wicked wicked stuff this is a uh, destroying the fucking disciples of christ by crucifixion br like i said it's just some wicked <laughs> uh, over the top dark stuff but I, I have owned that at one point i've listened to it so I guess it's back in the collection now. Uh, next up, we have Nethermost with Noetic. Ah, oh, man, I, I may have some Nethermost in the collection. Um, when my collection ha my collection has, has blown up so big, sometimes I have stuff in there and I can't quite remember stuff that I've picked up in uh, other grab bags and stuff. And I wanted to say Nethermost is in there. And I want to say it's kind of a uh, doomier type stuff, but I could be wrong. But I... I'm, I'm thinking I have some nethermost. If it is the album that I'm thinking of. Next up, we have Zombie Ritual. And I guess this is a split. It's a split with uh, Zombie Ritual and Termination Force. And they uh, entitled the split Zombie Termination. So. That's some wicked look at artwork on that one as well. Next up, we have Handsome Prick with Anonymity of Yule. Yeah, I can't. Right there. Anonymity of Yule. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Giving my uh, pronunciation skills a workout today. I'm struggling. I don't know anything about Handsome Prick, so... I would not know anything about a handsome prick. I mean, look at me. All right, next up we have a uh, Grim Legion with Unholy Resurrection. That is some uh, cheesy looking artwork. It's sometimes the cheesier the artwork, the better the album. So, don't know what to expect on that one either. I feel like it, I feel completely lost on some of this stuff, and I hate those type videos where they're just like, "Hey, I don't know what this is," but that's kind of what this is turning into. Uh, next up, we have uh, Epidemic with um, Malformed Conscience, and that looks gnarly. That looks like uh, that's going to be some good stuff. This one came out in 2017. I've, uh, there's been stuff all over. I've seen some 2014s, 20, 2015s, 2017s. Nice little mix of uh, albums. Next up, we have Spectral Descent with Descending the Astral Plane. A lot of times, it seems like when I do these uh, overstock grab bags and these big grab bags, there is a ton of albums from 2017. I know like Transcending Records, when I did a uh, one of the, the grab bags from them, it seemed like there was a huge amount of 2017s. I don't know if 2017 was just a really bad year for CD sales. I don't know if uh, the amount produced versus sold maybe they overproduce some so i don't know but it seems like there is a ton from uh 2017 in these grab boxes uh next up we have a uh, solenum with itsc and i do have some solenum in in my collection but i do not own this release so this will definitely fill a spot and fit nicely and snug on the shelf next to the other i know i have at least one other solenum album i think i have a couple uh, this is one that I do already own. I know this one for sure. Uh, this is a Dominium with War Ritual. And this is pretty good stuff. Obviously kind of blackened uh, type stuff. Blackened death metal stuff. But it is a solid, solid release. Got two more. Uh, we have Hyena Rabbit with Homo Hominy Hyena. I did own this at one point. I don't know if I still have it or not. I received it in a previous grab bag. And I think I may have rehomed this one. And then last but not least, we have Apocryphon, Apocryphon and Fabricate Split. So all in all, 30 CDs for 30 bucks. There is some stellar stuff in here. Uh, there's some stuff that I probably would have, would have sought out on my own anyway. So at that price point, I think it was a good deal. That's all for the box. 
30 CDs, 30 bucks. I will link it up in the description if they are still available. Last I saw that they were uh, still selling them on their band camp. So hopefully if they still got them going, I'll link it up so you guys can pick one up for yourself. That's all I've got for today. I don't know when I'm going to show this other stuff that came in uh, and all that, but we'll get around to that as well. Stay classy, stay metal. I will see you all soon, I promise.